Hola, I'm Alex Maureira, a tour director from Chile, from Patagonia, and here I bring you my uh, the way that I pack to Patagonia. Okay, so first of all, uh, telling you that uh, to go in Patagonia is very important that you consider to dress yourself in layers. Because uh, you're going to experience a different type of climates according to the program. For example, some of you will visit uh, Buenos Aires, uh, which is very warm during December until March, 86, 90, 92. So you need to consider also that, okay? But most of the time of the program you're going to spend in, in the south of the country, either Chile or Argentina, which is kind of colder than the capitals, okay? So this is the way that I pack. It's not the right or wrong, it's the way that I pack. I've been leading these groups for 18 years already, so my main point is I don't like to take things that I'm not going to use. I'm very minimalistic in my way to pack it, and I'm going to show it to you. I mean, this is just a reference, okay? So the first of all, first thing is you have to have something very comfortable for you. I mean, a, a, a suitcase that allows you to put more kilos inside. That's why I always recommend the duffel bags. The duffel bags are usually lighter than a regular suitcase with wheels because some airports in Patagonia, they don't, they don't have even cards. So it's very convenient that you have to be, I mean, you have to deal with your own luggage. So it's very convenient that you can ha carry your own luggage with wheels. Uh, and comfortable luggage that will be the great. So, um, what are my essentials? I have uh, four type of layers. The most important layer for me is the first layer. That is mandatory and that is one of my essentials. What is the first layer, Alex? Well, uh, the layer that is in contact with your skin. These layers are technical clothing, okay? It's a special material that you can find in any outdoor store in the States. And the good thing about this is they dry very fast, okay? In the case of a hike and you sweat, you're not going to feel cold because these things keeps you uh, dry most of the time, okay? They are a little more expensive than a regular t-shirt, but believe me that it's worth uh, to invest in those. So, first layer on your skin, also, first layer for my legs, my long junks, they are also technical, these are Patagonia, and uh, uh, they, are, they, they help you to keep you warm, and uh, also, uh, they don't sweat at all, they, they breathe, so they are excellent. So, these two things is man, my mandatory things to bring. I mean, your first technical layer is key, okay? So, second layer. Uh, in my case, I use these shirts. They are also technical. I don't like to iron anything. Uh, so, I usually buy these things which are, which are great uh, because uh, you just do that and they are perfect. And uh, even I can watch it during the night and then the, other, the next morning they are already dry. Okay? Uh, most of this I mean, the ones that I take, I usually take seven of these in my luggage. And uh, it, again, they are very packable and they are technical clothing. You can find it in Marma. You have a different brands there. This is my layers, my, my second layer. I take more or less seven of that, but very packable. The third layer are the fleece. The fleece, there is a technology that is called micro fleece, okay, which they are less bulky but they are still very warm, okay? They are very packable. This is my favorite one, okay? And I usually take this and a vest, and that's it. I don't have anything else, okay? Because that's what I need. Again, you have uh, some opportunity to do laundry during the route, so uh, for me it's not, it's not a big deal to take too many things, okay? Uh, the fourth layer, one, two, three, the fourth layer is my synthetic look is a pouch it's very packable and this is my feather jacket the feather jacket uh, allows you to keep you warm a lot and 
as you can see, it's very packable. Okay. This is a key. You can buy a, a, a synthetic one, a feather one. In this case, my 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 is uh, is feather. Is from the brand Patagonia again, and as you can see, it's very very compact. I can make it very compact because, believe it or not, I do travel with the suitcase that I show you. Uh, that will be my one, two, three, my fourth layer. My fifth layer is the last one. Alex, how about the rain? Yes, you have to have your rain jacket. Okay, this is mine. This is very light, but with a high technology that I proved it already is totally waterproof. Um, it's very good, and the good thing about this is very light and again very packable. Okay, um, it's not a windbreaker. Huh? This is another technology. It's lighter as a windbreaker, but uh, they protect you from the rain. Okay, and my last layers. For the legs, and this is very important because when uh, we are visiting um, a beautiful places like Torres del Paine, the eighth wonder of the world, Torres del Paine National Park, we will be hiking, and sometimes we have some showers, and uh, these rain pants will be very, very useful. These rain pants go over your regular pants, okay, and it protects you from of course rain okay and then also if you're taking our program that include the cruise to um, to the Tierra del Fuego Island uh, which is Australis with the Sumbar for example many times in Zodiac which are these boats with no roof and uh, they are wet usually most of the time and so every time for example if we disembark to see penguins uh, you will I mean this this rain pants will be very, very useful because most of the time those zodiacs are wet. Okay, Alex, how about the the trousers? Again, technical thing, very light. I don't travel with jeans because they are very heavy, bulky, and if they get wet, it takes a week to get dry. So these ones are my technical again trousers. I can convert them in a, in a short. In the case of warm weather like Buenos Aires or Santiago. And they are, again, they are very packable. You can watch them during the night uh, and, and the next day they are dry. So, again, technical clothes. And about the shoes, what do you think? Huh? Of course, uh, my, this time my hiking uh, shoes now, they're waterproof. They have a uh, special technology. Some of them Gore-Tex, uh, whatever. I take one of these and a small sneakers, very foldable sneakers. Again, nothing bulky. Of course, I take my um, uh, my toiletries, my underwear, but that's it. I don't take anything else, believe it or not. I don't like to take things that I'm not going to use. And the last but not least, don't bring scarf. Bring your gloves, not very bulky one, but don't bring any scarves, no turtlenecks. Uh, don't bring any formal, because remember the cruise that we use is a... Uh, uh, is a uh, expedition boat. It's nothing fancy. There is no formal dinners. Not nothing like that. So, forget about the tie. Forget about the the blazers. Nothing. Nothing. Smart casual is totally fine. And this outdoor look is most of the travelers are wearing this even during the night. So even during dinners. Okay. Last but not least, our. Buff, B-U-F-F. -F. These buffs are the most useful thing in Patagonia. I usually take three, four with me and you can combine it because it can um, protect your neck, your breathing system, you can convert it in a hat, you see, and then you put your rain jacket and you keep hiking. Very, very, very handy. So if you have the chance to bring a few of these, bring it because it's going to be very useful. And that's it, familia. Uh, not more. I hope this video is being uh, useful for you. I hope to see you soon again back in this beautiful land. Uh, I do live in Patagonia, in northern Patagonia, and I was born here. So I'm so I'm I'm waiting for you in my in my homeland. I hope to see you soon. I hope this video was useful for you. I send you a kiss. Ah, 
and I see you here. Bye bye.